Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, and we are back with another video tutorial today. Today I'm gonna be doing a little sound design video showing y'all how to create that cool filtered low frequency saw type bass that you hear me use a lot of my RB and kind of deep rap lyrical shit beats. <laughs> Basically, like a lot of my Drake Weekends style stuff, stuff for that kind of ambient sound. I use this um kind of filtered uh, sub bass patch or whatever i'm gonna show you how i make it so let's go to the video let's get to it i'm gonna be using silent for this because this is the easiest way to make it sound but you can take these um techniques and pretty much any subtractive synthesis type plug-in um using the same oscillators and same uh wave shapes and pretty much get the same result but anyway once you open up silent you already know what it looks like silent one we're gonna go to menu i'm going to initialize the presets now you get this kind of weird, lame, kind of old school, um, kind of buzzy sound. First, we're gonna take the retrig off. We're gonna turn the polyphonic, turn the polys all the way up to 16. And we're gonna change this into a sine wave. So now we have, so that, that's the first step. Going to the octave right here, we say pitch in the first oscillator. We're gonna turn it down to about two, let me make sure. We don't get no interruptions, sorry about that. And now we have kind of the, the sub bass sound. We're gonna just raise the attack up a little bit, probably about, you know, one. So it kind of just comes in and then let the release kind of just raise the release up a little bit and then make sure to sustain all the way up and decays all the way down. So now we have, we have this sound and you know, it's already got the sub frequency sound that we want. And we'll just leave everything else the same. We're going to oscillator two. We're going to turn it up to eight voices. Turn retrig off. And we're going to turn it to a saw wave. So now you have that sound. Next, we're going to bring the, oct the octave down to two. So we have. And then we're going to turn the detune up just to about four maybe, let's say try four, four. So now you have this kind of, it's already coming together as you can see. And we're gonna just kind of fine tune that. You can hold alt, I know it's control. Yeah, there we go. If you hold control, you can fine tune it. So, all right. Now we're gonna to move to the filter section. We're gonna turn the filter type to a low pass. And all you can see it has that, it has that sound to it. And we're gonna just kind of bring the drive up to about, to about two. All right, and then we're gonna come down to the filter controls, turn warm drive on. Turn the key track up a little bit to about maybe two. And we'll turn the filter control down a little bit. Probably to about 50, let's see, about 50 hertz. Around 50 hertz. Now you have. bring the main volume down a little bit because we don't want a distortion and we're going to bring the filter up just a little bit just probably turn the key track down the drive down a little bit and that's the sound right there but we can go a little bit further with it we can go to turn on the mono legato and then turn up the portamente just a little bit. Probably, I usually turn up to about four or five, depending on how I'm feeling. We'll do four a day. And we'll turn on the slide. Just click right here and turn the slide. And now you have this. That way it kind of just slides into the next note instead of just being like sharp, so. And 
that's pretty much it. You can add some extra stuff to it if you like. You know, if you want to put some distortion on it. I've done that before. Give it kind of that weekend feel. If you want to turn it to, you want to change it up a little bit more, you can add some LFO, whatever. At that point, you just pretty much make it your own sound. But that's the basic sound. The filtered saw sine wave sound that you hear in Drake weekend OVO type stuff, and I use it a lot. And I, you know, I always tweak it to make it sound different. You know, make it your own. That's basically the patch. It's very simple, very quick. You know, to the point, but can be a very powerful sound and really bring your production to the next level. So, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all like it, thumb it up. If y'all want me to make some more type of beats, where it be beats i mean it'll make more type of sounds where it be leads pads plucks whatever i would definitely do that just give me some suggestions if you have sounds you like me to try to replicate i would do my best so with that being said y'all know who it is slim aka mr different mr not motivated by the money but the like comes subscribe and views hope you enjoyed the video and i shall see y'all in the next one